Right friends, welcome back to questions and answers, general and banking. This is the 42nd week from 12th to 18th October. Let us look at the first question. Recently, cotton farmers were badly hit due to a swarm of white flies. Due to the swarm of white flies, cotton farmers were badly hit in some districts of Punjab. And the answer here is Punjab. They used BT cotton and BT cotton is resistant to ball worm. You may ask what is bollworm, please look into this picture, this is bollworm because the BT cotton, BT cotton is manufactured by Monsanto group, that BT cotton produces natural insecticide that is resistant to bollworm and it is not resistant to white flies and because of the attack of white flies, several districts like Abohar, then Muktasar, Fazilka, these districts were affected including Batinda in parts of Punjab and almost 50 to 75 percent of the crop was lost due to this. Answer here is the Punjab. Look into the next one. India China combined military training exercises are being held in Kunming Military Academy. This Kunming Military Academy is in China. These are India China joint exercises and these joint training exercises the name given is Hand in Hand 2015, India and China joint exercises, Hand in Hand 2015 and don't forget Malabar 2015 are being held in Bay of Bengal, that is the trilateral joint naval exercises, the trilateral joint naval exercises are being held in Bay of Bengal between United States of America, Japan and India. But these are held between India and China. India and China, it is hand in hand 2015. Japan, India, United States of America, it is Malabar 2015. Look at the next question, football legend Pile. If you want the full name of Pile, you can look into this PPT. The full name is given here. Pile recently visited India and he visited uh, Kolkata in India and he belongs to Brazil. He is the football legend in the world and he belongs to Brazil. Look at the next question. Name the bank which is in the news recently for alleged transfer of 6172 crores of black money to Hong Kong. 6172 crores of black money was shifted to Hong Kong and these payments were made to the non-existent imports such as cashews, rice. For non-existent imports, these payments were made. This is black money. Imports were literally not there. Only the money was transferred. It is a case of money laundering and that is the violation under Foreign Exchange Management Act of 1999 and Bank of Baroda officials are being arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. The matter is under investigation. Name the bank which launched Bharat app in six Indian languages. Recently, Kotak Mahindra Bank launched Bharat app in six languages that is English, Hindi, Marathi, Gujarati, Kannada and Tamil, right? Look into the next one. World Food Day was observed on 16th October and this Food and Agriculture Organization is the organ of United Nations established in the year 1945 on October 16th. Initial headquarters at Quebec City in Canada and present headquarters is Rome in Italy. It is the United Nations organ. In memory of the day of establishment, that is October 16, this World Food Day is being observed every year on October 16th. When a borrower takes a loan from two or more banks by making a common application, by making a common application, if the borrower takes a loan from two or more banks or otherwise you can call two or more banks coming together and giving the loan to the borrower that loan is known as consortium loan or syndicated loan or multiple banking loan whatever name you call these loans are given by group of banks coming together the answer here is consortium loan why banks come together to grant loan because 
for large value loans there is a risk element and to reduce the risk element banks come together and then they grant loans which is known as consortium loan this happens for big value loans next one is mudra bank is the fully owned subsidiary of sidbi mudra bank is at present fully owned subsidiary of sidbi the second point i would like to tell you mudra bank was registered as non banking financial company with the reserve bank of india so mudra bank is non banking financial company one side and it is the fully owned subsidiary of sidbi when you look at sidbi please don't forget cgt mse that is operated by sidbi this one the second one mudra bank is operated by sidbi then smile and iaf these are also operated by sidbi please don't forget look into the next one dell incorporated acquired data storage company emc corporation this emc corporation is the data storage company dell acquired emc both are united states of america based and considered to be the largest technology buyout considered to be the largest technology buyout dell purchased emc for 67 billion dollars 1 billion dollar at present is roughly rupees 6500 crores of rupees and dell purchased emc for 67 billion dollars sebi devised itp for startups what is itp itp is institutional trading platform institutional trading platform was devised for startups because in our country so far this uh, startups are going to other countries for financing and to prevent that sebi brought new guidelines for startups separate institutional trading platform the question here is four sentences are given which of the following is incorrect the first sentence is applicable for institutional investors absolutely correct this institutional trading platform is applicable for institutional investors only not for individuals the second sentence is incorrect it is not applicable for individuals because there will be risk element in the startups that's why institutions like insurance funds institutions like pension funds they are only allowed to apply for institutional trading platform second thing is individuals are not allowed so the given second sentence is uh, incorrect please correct it individuals are not allowed the third one is it is a new window for stock exchanges for firms like e-commerce data analysis and biotechnology for e-commerce firms data analysis firms biotechnology firms this institutional trading platform is a new window nowadays fourth one is minimum investment size is rupees 10 lakhs please don't forget these things but institutional trading platform is not applicable for individuals because of risk element name the bank which introduced money to world a fully online remittance service that is fully online remittance service when indians wants to transfer money to any bank overseas if a resident indian wants to transfer money to any bank overseas this is used this is money to world this is launched by icici bank recently recently name the bank which launched a facility to avail personal loans at atms for the employees recently hdfc bank has given a facility where they can get personal loans sanctioned through atms the hdfc bank customers whoever are getting their salaries into hdfc bank accounts then they need not visit the bank branch they can get the personal loan sanctioned through the atm only right so hdfc bank recently allowed the facility of uh, availing personal loans at atms the world standards day was observed on october 14th the headquarters of unfccc is what is the unfccc unfccc is united nations framework convention on climate change to look into the climate change aspects and the headquarters is in bonn in germany 
look into the next one name the sponsors of the indian super league what is indian super league it is basically football league indian premier league or ipl is cricket indian super league is football it has also got eight teams and the sponsors are hero group right so look into the next one iifcl is registered as an nbfc non banking financial company this iifcl is into infrastructure finance in the country and it is registered as non banking financial company with rbi so the regulator of iifcl is reserve bank of india please don't forget google paid tribute to legendary qawwali singer nasrat fateh ali khan on his 67th birth anniversary recently he belongs to pakistan all of you might have seen doodle on google and this nasrat fateh ali khan belongs to pakistan famous qawwali singer of pakistan dilip chunai resigned as md and ceo of national skill development corporation nstc is primarily into skill development into this country it is a public private partnership venture where the government shareholding is 49% 51% is held by private and dilip chanoy who was nsdc md and ceo for the past 4 or 5 years recently resigned the government constituted the central victim compensation fund with a corpus of rupees 200 crores what is the purpose of this central victim compensation fund the purpose is to give compensation for rape victims or acid attack victims state governments if they are giving compensation central government will supplement and support the state governments for that purpose central government instituted this central victim compensation fund with a corpus of 200 crores of rupees as per the indc intended nationally determined contributions submitted by india to united nations framework convention on climate change the installed capacity of non fossil fuel based power generation will be 40% of total power generation by 2030 by the year 2030 in our country power generated through non fossil fuel sources fossil fuels are like oil coal non fossil energy is based on wind solar energy these types of energies will constitute around 40% by 2030 and it will be around 350000 megawatt by 2030 and all of you are well aware the renewable energy will constitute 175000 megawatt by 2022 out of which 1 lakh megawatt will be by solar and by the year 2030 total non fossil fuel energy's share will be 40% of the total power generation and it will be 3 lakh 50000 megawatt the files declassified by the west bengal government recently pertaining to netaji subhas chandra bose is of the period 1938 to 1947 some news reports say they are from 1937 to 47 whatever it is it is around 1938 to 1947 for dcps domestic systemically important banks sbi and icici are two dcps nominated by reserve bank of india dcps are nominated by reserve bank of india from now onwards every august and depending on the requirement of uh, common equity tier 1 capital this uh, banks will be classified into bucket 1 bucket 2 bucket 3 bucket 4 bucket 5 depending on the requirement of capital now state bank of india is kept in bucket 3 that means they require capital of 0.6% additional capital i am talking about icici bank is kept in bucket 1 they require additional capital of 0.2%. So bucket 1 is for 0.2%, bucket 2.4, bucket 3.6 like that it increases. So SBI is kept at bucket 3 that is 0.6% additional capital. 
As per the RBI guidelines, the loan account is to be marked as a red flagged account. RBI gave guidelines, loan account is to be marked as a red flagged account. If there are early warning signals of impending failure, if the loan is expected to fail, then the loan account is to be marked as a red flagged account or RFA. If the exposure of the individual bank is rupees 50 crore or more. Right, certain figures you should not forget. It should be marked as a red flagged account when the individual loan exposure is 50 crores or more. And at the same time, please don't forget, banks are required to nominate joint lenders forum for consortium loans when the loan exposure is 100 crores or above at the stage of SMA2. Last week, we deliberated these things in detail. At G20 meetings in Lima, Peru, the finance minister talked about BEPS. BEPS is base erosion and profit shifting. Last week, we deliberated in detail under questions and answers advanced. Please listen to that. If you want meaning about base erosion and profit shifting, look at the last question. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana is given an outlay of rupees 50,000 crore in five years. Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sincha Yojana is basically to improve the irrigation facilities and this year allocation that means 2015-16 budget allocation is rupees 5,300 crores. Right friends with this let us conclude questions and answers general and banking for week number 42. Have a nice day and please do join for other modules. Thank you.